Hi, welcome to the first video tutorial on electricity and electronics. The topics will be covered are introduction, atom and atomic structure, electric charge, conductivity, static and current electricity, electric field and electric energy. Let's start with introduction. Electricity is an energy, and the most important thing in our day-to-day -day life. Electricity is present around us in unlimited applications. We need electricity for lightning, vehicles, home appliances, cell phones. We can't see electricity. But we can see its effects around us, as in these examples, bolt of lightning, spark. Referring to the concept of electricity, now we can define the term electronics, as, electronics is the branch of science that deals with the control of electrical energy. We will explore the term electronics and electricity in details as we progress towards fundamentals of electricity. Atom and Atomic Structure An atom is the smallest particle of the basic element which forms any matter or physical substance like solid, liquid, gases. An atom is a combination of three particles, namely, protons, neutrons and electrons. The nucleus is the main central part of an atom, consisting of protons and neutrons. While group of electrons revolve around the nucleus in orbits. Simply, an atom can be considered as a kingdom of electrons whose king is nucleus. Electric charge is the physical property of any particle, which creates force when close to other particle. It is neither created nor destroyed. It may be positive or negative. The term force mentioned here, means electrostatic force, which can be defined by the Coulomb's law. Electrostatic deals with study of stable electric charges and their forces. Charge is the property of matter, similar to mass, density and volume. It is measurable quantity, denoted as Q. Coulomb's law is published by French physicist, Charles Augustine Coulomb. This law describes method for measuring, force of attraction and repulsion between two electrically charged particles. It defines basic unit of electric charge, the Coulomb. Electric charge is of two types either positive or negative. Referring to the concept of electric charge, electricity can be defined as, the flow of electric charge. Going back to the atomic structure. Atom is very very small to observe. So, instead of studying atom's structure, its properties are studied experimentally and structure is assumed accordingly. Proton has charge and neutrons have no charge, but both having equal mass. Hence proton is positively charged, taking entire weight of an atom, called as atomic weight or mass. Electrons are negatively charged particles, with low weight or mass. They are discovered by English physicist J.J. Thompson. It may be noted that, both electrons and protons carry the same amount of charge, just a different type. Charge on atom. An atom is said to have neutral or no charge, when number of protons are equal to number of electrons. An atom is said to have positive charge, when atom gives or loses extra electrons. An atom is said to have negative charge, when atom takes or gains electrons. The electrons in an atom are moving in circular way around nucleus in different paths. But, the number of electrons in any path may be different. And this is determined by three rules. The three important properties of electrons, charge, mass and radius are mentioned here. As massive electron is very less, it is very mobile and greatly influenced by electric field. This is the reason behind, electrons being backbone of electric energy. Every orbit has fixed amount of energy associated with it. The electrons in last orbit, have more energy than in first orbit. Hence, the energy of electron increases, 
as the distance between electron and nucleus decreases. The energy of an electron is combination of kinetic energy due to circular orbital motion and potential energy due to charge on nucleus. The valence electrons are important for the flow of electrical charge. It may be noted that the continuous flow of free electrons created due to electrostatic force is called as electric current. The conductivity refers to bond between electron and its atom, that is, how tightly bound an electron is to an atom. Elements with high conductivity, which have more free electrons, are called conductors. Some good examples are copper, gold and silver. Elements with low conductivity, have less free electrons, are called insulators. Some good examples are glass, plastic, rubber. Now, we will discuss the two forms of electricity, static and current electricity. The static electricity is, a variation of electric charges, within or on the surface of a material. This is called as triboelectric effect. The examples are, Sticky behavior of balloon in dry weather. Rubbing a balloon on your hair creates negative charge on it. Doing this will create weak electrical force which allows to stick balloon on wall. Another important example is lightning. It occurs because a group of clouds in Earth's ground try to equalize each other, causing massive discharge with high visible light. It is interesting to know that human body can build a small static charge. Static electricity is harmful for sensitive electronic components. Hence, as a precaution, you may have seen a mobile or laptop service engineer wear ZSD, means electrostatic discharge wrist strap, to protect against spikes of charge. Current electricity. It is the continuous flow of electric charges. This makes current electricity, backbone of all electronic gadgets and instruments. Till now, we have seen, how electron flow is important for electricity. But, there should be something which tells electrons to flow, and that is electric field. We cannot observe electric field, but we can see its effects around us. For example, Earth's gravitational field. Electric field defines the types of force between electric charges. That means, the force can either be attractive or opposite. The point to be noted that, Earth's gravitational field only attracts the objects. But, electric field can attract as well as oppose electric charges. The type of force between electric charges, decides the direction of electric field. As in figures, inward pointing arrows shows inward direction and outward pointing arrows shows outward direction of electric field. The potential means ability of doing some work. The potential energy is the stored energy, and it defines the amount of work performed by charge if it's set into flow or motion. Once set in motion by cohesive electrostatic force, electric charge transforms its potential energy into kinetic energy to do something useful. Any charge has the ability to move other charge by attraction and repulsion. Two different charges have difference in their potential. Electric potential is not same concept as electric potential energy. The electric potential exists in an electric field at any point is the ratio of electric potential energy to the charge, which is joules per coulombs, simplified as volt.